I may remember a month or so ago, Carlin Kit were kind enough to send out the wireless box that turns wired CarPlay or wired Android Auto into wireless, so you don't have to use a wire at all. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it linked up here for you guys to check out. But they've been kind enough to do another video with me, with this guy right here. This is the AI Box Mini, so you can play YouTube, Netflix, wirelessly through your car. But before we get into the unboxing, just like the last one from Carl Inkit, they've also been kind enough to give me a discount code just for you guys to use, which is PR18, it's right here, link in the description down below and also the code for you guys to use to get yourself money off and also it just gives a little kickback to the channel. So let's jump into the unboxing and let's check this out in the car. So obviously before we get this installed into the car, let's go ahead and get this quickly unboxed. So they sent out a separate USB-C to USB-C cable. It mustn't be in the box, but I haven't got USB-C in this car, just normal USB-A. But thanks for sending that over. But let's go ahead, let's take this out. Like so. Open. And there we go. You know, someone said to me last time, you just push the box out. But unfortunately in the last one, it was actually stuck down. But there we go, that's out. So let's go ahead and let's take this part off. And there we go. Okay, so you get your user manual. Obviously, you can use a nano SIM and a micro SD card in this. There is the AI Box Mini wrapped up. We'll do that in a second. And they have there's a USB A to USB C cable and also a USB C to USB C. But they have sent me a secondary one, which is much appreciated. It looks like maybe that one's a bit shorter than the one that's in the box. Take the wrapping off this. So there's that. Let's take that off. And let's take off the back piece. So it does have some little rubber feet to be able to stick down. It says CPC 200 T-Box Mini. Car link it on the front with two LED lights. Little slot right there, don't know what that's for. Got a little tiny indent in the top to tell you what each thing's for. You've got your SIM card tray, you've got your charging cable, and of course you've got your micro SD card. Now it doesn't actually come with anything so you can actually fit them yourself. Okay, so cable, plug it in like so. And then we're gonna plug it into the car. Let me go ahead and turn the ignition on. So now obviously at the minute I don't have an iPhone so I'm going to have to show you this by using an Android phone. Currently the phone I'm using is the Z Fold 4. So that's the phone we're going to be using in today's video. We have got some lights flashing on the car link here so this should be setting up now. So let me go ahead and go into my Bluetooth and click continue. I agree. There we go, it's just starting. So with the Carlink AI Mini Box, all you need is a 4G SIM card. If you put a 4G SIM card into this, then you don't really need your phone because it has its own interface built in to the point where all you need to do is have a SIM card in this. You can run all your music apps as well as having the likes of YouTube, Netflix and stuff like that for when you're parked. But then a big game changer that I can see is the ability to pair up an Xbox controller and play Xbox Game Pass and any games you find on the Android store with a controller. Yes, I've tried it, and yes, it does work on Game Pass, but only certain games because of the frame rate isn't that great on certain games. I don't know whether it was my internet connection. A certain game stumbled a little bit, like the Forza Horizon 5. The new game I'm addicted to, the Power Wash Simulator, works perfectly, and you can also have on-screen buttons, so you can play on the screen like you would with a phone. Pair it with an Xbox controller, You've got yourself a portable game system. You can also add in a memory card to this, one of the small tiny micro SDs, up to 128 gig. Put some films, music onto that, put it into the system, and you can run it through this. Also, the added benefits of having a micro SD slot just to have through your system. Like, obviously, when in certain cars, you used to have SD slots. You just plug an SD in and you can listen to music. I mean, is this something you consider picking up for yourself? What I'll do is there'll be links in the description down below to where you can pick this up. Hop inside the car and let me show you on the screen just how good this really is. Okay, so it's come with a warning. For your safety, do not operate system while vehicle is in motion. Please drive your car according to safe traffic regulations and do not watch video while the vehicle is driving. So I'm going to click that, don't show this again, and click accept. 
So now there we go. We're now into the main menu screen of the AI Box Mini. It is of course a full Android system. Okay, so now you're on the screen right here. It's got what's not playing. Obviously, you can go in and put a, a music player in there, but not one's going to play right now because there's not on there to play. You got your phone messaging settings, which takes you into the like an Android system setting. Go back. You've got your BT phone, that's your Bluetooth to connect your phone up to it, and have wireless Android Auto, wireless CarPlay. Maps is Google Maps. Home will take you back to your car's original screen. Go back into it, slide across. APK installer, you need a mirror that can basically install other APKs. Bluetooth your music over, auto kit, Google Chrome, internet, you got your contacts, you got a gallery, couple of pictures, I've managed to change the wallpaper of the background. You've got your Google Play Store to download apps too, YouTube Music, YouTube, Netflix, Spotify, UCenter, I'm not too sure what that is. You've got a file system, Waze, VLC and GPS Test Plus. So that's all them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to Bluetooth my phone over to the car. Let me go ahead and let me set up my Bluetooth. So let me go to available devices, power on, auto box, T-Box Mini right there click pair so now pair in the pass key pair up the phone it says bluetooth connected on the car and it will allow all access you can add a bluetooth mouse obd2 or other device wireless carplay wireless aa click auto kit so let me go back let me go back into this let's click auto kit now also connecting almost straight away i'm not going to edit this video i'm not going to cut it this is going to be basically as i see it you're going to see it too to continue, select Android Auto on your car screen. So I'm assuming it's that. Welcome to Android Auto. Continue. And you've now got Android Auto. Wirelessly. It's not plugged in, as you can see. It's not plugged in at all. And I've got Android Auto. So if I click that, it takes me right back in to Android Auto. Now obviously, to run the other side of the system, to run this side of it, you will need to hotspot it to your phone if you're not going to put a SIM card in it to be able to use this. So let me go ahead and let me see if I can turn on the hotspot. It's on. Okay, so let me go into settings, network and internet. The Wi-Fi is currently off. Let's switch it on. Let's go into Wi-Fi. I'm going to add a network. I'm going to add it to the phone. Just so I can show you guys what this is. So... It's now saved. It's now hopefully going to connect. It's now connected. So let's go ahead and let's jump back out of this. Connected via Bluetooth, connected with Wi-Fi too. So let's see if we can get some stuff to work. There's Google Maps. This white dot as well, I believe you can map out. So I'm going to be mapping that out very shortly. Okay, so Maps is loading. So you need obviously to sign in. I'm not going to sign in just yet. I'm going to save all that. But well, let's see if I can pinpoint my location at least while using the app. That's pretty much pinpointed the location as to where I am. That's basically it. So if we come back out of that now. And let's go. Let's try something else. Let's try... Let's try Waze. Waze is obviously built in. Obviously if you get a SIM card and you've got a bit of data on there, you're going to be able to use this. Obviously I'm not going to get started, but as you can see, pretty much you got Waze running without your phone. Let's see, let's try YouTube. Let's get rid of this out the way. Obviously I'm going to take some time, I'm going to sign into this, but I'll show you all that towards the end. Shows YouTube Shorts. Let's see, let's see if it'll find my channel. Let's go ahead, let's search for... Let's see, let's see if it'll search. And there it is. And there we go. So there's YouTube working, let me see if I can play a video just to show you. Let me see if I can find something that's not... Too much talking. Let's see. There we go, let's go with that one. 8K video test. Goes full screen. Advert, of course. I think I'll turn the volume down, let's see. what this is running at so 240p so let's go advanced and run this at 1080 and there we go it's now running YouTube pretty much yeah as it should and now we're running YouTube on on the car what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign into everything I'm gonna sign into Netflix etc 
and I'll come back and I'll show you that and then we'll end the video. If you spend a lot of time in your car, you know, you may be sat off somewhere, maybe you're going out for the day and you know you're going to be sitting in your car and you want to watch a bit of YouTube, Netflix, etc. Or you're going away in your car maybe, you're going somewhere, you know, you're going to park up and you've got something that you can sit down watch a bit of YouTube etc, watch a bit of Netflix in the car, chill out and enjoy yourself. But as I say, Car Link It were kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys, I believe it's still 18% off, so PR18, 18% off, and I believe it's site wide right now. So on their site, anything you want to pick up, whether it's the actual Car Link It AI Box Mini, the original 4.0, to get wireless car play this is absolutely perfect i mean i'm that's going to be something that's going to stay in the car most definitely and the fact that i still have android auto and wireless apple carplay so i've got the best of both worlds having the ai box mini so let me know what you think in the comment section down below i mean is this something that you'd pick up for yourself let me know if you have got one let me know how it's been working for you because that seems pretty much ideal right now. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to log into Evan and I'll show you his Netflix work and show you what I've downloaded to it and then we'll end the video from there. Okay, so we're now a couple of days in since filming the initial start of the video. And I've downloaded some apps that I've been using with the car link kit. It's connected via hotspot to my phone. It does need an update. I do know that for definite. It does definitely need an update. So I will be doing that in the coming days. But these are all the apps that you've seen at the very beginning of the video. Now I've got Twitch, Amazon Prime, my Apple Music, Backdrops, which is where this wallpaper came from. So yes, you can also change the wallpaper. Xbox Game Pass, which you've seen running in the video, works fantastically. If you have a controller and you can connect it up, it's perfect. You've just got to make sure that it stays connected. Obviously plug it in, make sure it's charged. Make sure the batteries are good and you should be good to go. This one I'm not going to talk about. If you know, you know. I'm Cloud for some music choices. Twitter app. Cora, which is enabled to basically make payments for like crossing bridges, etc. Like, so that's really good. If you own a car, Cora is definitely something you want to try out. Pocket Cast for podcasts. BBC iPlayer. All four. My five. Starbucks app. Kiss Cube. Instagram. And yes, Instagram does work. See? login but we'll come back out of that so let's go back to home next page well, the last page i've got the score for sports scores tiktok blink for me doorbell camera and me cctv cameras tune in radio itv hub and of course gmail for emails on the go i don't really need to have my phone in the car with me if i've got a sim card installed in the car linker it works absolutely flawlessly i can't fault it at all and the fact that you can game on this if you download other games you can actually use the xbox controller to also play other games besides just the game pass app you can actually play like asphalt 9 and stuff using the controller now obviously i showed you youtube working but i've signed in to netflix as well so it starts up select your user And there we go, there is Netflix fully working. So if we click on the likes of Big Bang Theory, and then. Hi, I follow up with your regular physician. In the meantime, I have some paperwork here for you to go over. What the hell is this? There you go. Yeah, boilerplate stuff, a modified roommate agreement for a temporary house guest, and. Uh, play pause, move on, go back to a different show. It all works and fills up the entire screen. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. What do you think of the Carlinker AI Box Mini? Is it something you pick up for yourself? I mean, the gaming aspects, the YouTube, the Netflix aspect of it, the fact that you can add APKs to it, the list goes on and on. Plus the fact that you can use the Xbox Game Pass and play games from the Play Store, the likes of Asphalt 9, etc. You know, is that something you consider for yourself? Be sure to use code PR18 at checkout for 18% off store wide. Just give a little kickback to the channel with it being an affiliate link. All the stuff that you need will be in the description down below anyway. This is absolutely perfect. It's going to be in the car permanently from now on. Plus the fact that you can have wireless Android Auto or wireless CarPlay. And the fact that it will give you this through this AI box is fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Drop a like if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. Turn those notifications on. 
and I'll see you in the next one. For now guys, take care, stay safe, see you all soon.